All right, this is Sequence. On the Xbox, it's an indie game. Uh, it's on Steam also. And a co-worker turned me on to this. Uh, thank you, Nick. It was actually produced uh, by a two-person team. The, the guy in the team, the main programmer, uh, is a graduate student at the University of Florida. And he actually makes reference to that in the game. Um, and then he also worked with an artist. And uh, she did a wonderful job with the art. So we can get into this and I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, I finally, uh, I finally went ahead and got it. Uh, Nick had been bugging me to do it. And uh, I finally did it. So I've actually been playing for quite a while on my main account and we'll start a new game here in just a second. Um, I'm actually up to level nine so it's it's an RPG with with a rhythm game mixed in and uh, you'll see what that means in a minute. If you've ever played uh, Puzzle Quest uh, you will be familiar with the concept. So there, there's an overarching RPG game, but then how you do battle is by playing a bejeweled type game. That's in Puzzle Quest. Well, here you're playing a rhythm game for the battles. And it's pretty interesting. So uh, let's do a new game. Uh, I am musically challenged. I'm rhythm rhythmically challenged, let's put it that way. So I am gonna do medium, that's what I've been doing. And it just barely, it, it, it allows me to keep up. I'm on the third floor now, and I can just tell by the time I get to the seventh, it's going to be pretty difficult. So let's do medium, and then we'll get an intro to the story here. So I, I really think the art here is pretty sweet. Um, two, two DJs worked on this. Uh, DJ Play School and Ronald Jenkins, and Ronald Jenkins, I found out from about from YouTube. Uh, he actually hasn't done a lot of YouTube posting. I hope that me that's because he has more jobs like this where he's actually, you know, getting paid to make music. Um, but kind of his first his first gig, I don't even know if he got paid for it. Was one of the songs in here was used for the intro song you don't wake up I don't know what that means yet um, was used as the intro song for an ESPN podcast uh, alright let's see what happens here uh, god my head what the hell just my wallet someone stole my damn wallet great I'm penniless and stuck in some gothic funhouse. Unless this is a dream. Nope. My brain feels like it was stabbed by a hobo. It's gotta be real. But how did I get here? I remember I was in my apartment getting ready for bed. You're talking to yourself. Really? The humor in this game is pretty good. I was impressed. Me? Where are you? Up here. Intercom. My name's Naya. That's a weird name. I get that a lot. Did you steal my wallet? Yeah, I stole your wallet for drug money and then decided to confess my sins via intercom. Wait, <laughs> hold on. I have to do this bump of cocaine. <laughs> well, do you know who took it? Nope, I've only been watching for a few minutes. You can see me? Unfortunately, yes. You should really work on your look. It's a little dated. I don't need to... Look, I just woke up and I can't remember how I got here. I think I may have been drugged or... You weren't drugged. Then what the hell happened? I... I'm not at liberty to say. And why not? I'm not at liberty to say that either. Look, I've been assigned to guide you through the tower, which will try its very darndest to kill you at every turn. Darndest? <laughs> Shut up. This place is a little creepy, I'll admit, but I think I can manage. Go date rape and piss off someone else. I'm... Whoa! Uh -oh. what, what the hell? Damn it, you arrogant jerk. I'm trying to help you. Good, go! Help! Get this thing the hell away from me! Hey, is it... Oh, okay. It's this one. Got it. 
What? What was that? A saving grace, hotshot. I can't do those often, so I suggest you calm down and listen up. Okay, I... Okay. I'm gonna break down basic training into several lessons. You can repeat a lesson if you want, or even skip them. Though, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm only doing this once. Right, so I have already done the tutorials. Um... I think I'll just do lesson three to kind of give you an idea. I do decree it's lesson three. Okay, so there's a timer there at the bottom. Go ahead and switch I actually have to hit A to me. advance through these. Go ahead and switch to the spell field. Okay, Great. so there's three different fields that um so there are a wonderful this is this one is for casting You've spells only got two to start off, but the blue one is for generating mana and the right one is for defending yourself your spells are located at the bottom of the screen see that crazy circle thing we call that the spell ring use the right analog stick to select and then hit either one of the shoulder bumpers to activate the spell right and that costs mana right right the specific amount is shown inside the spell ring. If you don't have enough, you can't activate the spell. So I currently have 30 mana, and casting barrier is going to take I five. I thought we were casting spells. Well, right. To actually cast the spell, you'll need to successfully hit all the gems inserted into the spell field. And what happens if I miss one? Well, nothing. You'll fail the spell, and you'll have wasted whatever mana you spent. Not rad. Nope. Totally not rad. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cast Arclight, the orange spell on the right of the spell ring. It's a standard direct damage spell. You'll need to move the cursor to the right side of the spell ring. Use the right analog stick to move the cursor around. Remember, use either shoulder bumper. Now, thankfully, both both the right stick and the left stick work, so I'm actually using the left stick. So I feel like I need my fingers on the face buttons, my thumb on the my right thumb on the face button, so I can cast the spell quicker. Okay, so activate Slip. it. You can see that your mana decreased by the cost of the spell. Now clear the gem. Okay. Y X Y. Hey, all right. You notice you did a bit of damage to the enemy. Correct. Each spell has a certain cooldown time as well. You won't be able to recast until the black gauge on the spell ring. Got it. Your other spell, so we're not going to cast it here, is Barrier. It has the effect of reducing the number of incoming gems in the defensive field for a short period of time. So I'll take less damage? Right. If you're getting slaughtered while trying to attack, try keeping up an active Barrier spell. Mm, strategy. Yay, strategy! Okay, so like basically one of the first things you do in a battle is cast barrier. Um, I'm sure there are situations where that doesn't make sense, but so far that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna say I'm totally rad, even though I kind of didn't explain everything yet. Well, that's about it for the basics of combat. So we're done? Nuh-uh, what's a class without a final exam? A uh, good one. <laughs> On a scale of one to stop whining, shut your face. <laughs> We're going to send you through a battle, and you're not moving on until you win. <sighs> Fine. All right, remember what you learned. Good luck. So during the actual battles, I probably won't talk that much. They are not easy to do when you are... So I don't really need mana right now, so I need to defend myself and then cast barrier. Now there's a delay between when the stuff appears... So I could have actually cast barrier, or activated barrier, I guess I should say. Let's get some mana here, fill back up my, okay, now it's full. Let's do arc light. Um, because of the delay, I could have actually uh, activated it a bit sooner. That blue one does extra damage. There's different colors that have multipliers attached to them. So I'm filling back up my I don't really need to fill it all the way back up, but... Okay, defend myself. <laughs> Cast Arc Light. And while you're waiting for Arc Light to come, you could keep collecting mana. Ah, see, I missed it. <laughs> Let's do another barrier. Oh. 
Okay, barrier's up. Barrier's one of the easiest ones to cast. <laughs> so for a short period of time, barrier reduces the number of arrows that are coming at you in the defensive field. But the ones that do come at you could still be ones with multipliers attached. Okay, so I got a little bit of experience. I don't have any equipment yet, but that will come. Okay, I think I've got it, kind of. Well, you're the one who said you were ready to move on. Don't blame me if you end up splattered on the wall. Don't worry. It's hard to blame people when you're dead. Oh, you. Just tell me where I am. <laughs> we call it the tower. I can tell you that this place was designed to test certain individuals. Very few are brought in and very few survive. But why me? What's the point? Who knows? I'm just your guide, your shepherd. I do what the big boys say. But trust me when I say I'm on your side. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Nope. <laughs> what now? Well, new best buddy, I think I need a name. It's... it's Kai. Ooh, that's a weird name. You're really annoying, you know. Sorry, sorry. All right, this is how it works. There are seven levels at the tower, and you're on floor of the first. Get through all seven levels, <laughs> and you'll be set free. Floor of the just first. Just like that. Poof, just like that. To advance to the next level, you'll need a key. You can make one a bit later. Um, okay. So I know you're eager to charge into battle. I don't... There's another one of those tentacly things nearby. Naya, I... Oh, snap. There it is. Get it. There we go. Okay. Pick barrier. Go ahead and cast... Or activate it, I guess I should say. Let's go ahead and activate arc light. Get some mana. Come back here. Cast it. Get some more mana. So see barrier's not ready yet. Or I should say arc light. So you see now a few more arrows are falling and I'm getting hurt because I didn't put a barrier up. Or actually, the barrier was still active. Sorry. Ah, I missed it. Arc light. It should kill him. So I don't know about Steam, but on, it's an indie game on Xbox, so there's no achievements. Um, but it is only two bucks. Or no, three. It's 240 Microsoft points. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, it seems to be a fair, very deep game. Uh, a la Puzzle Quest. So, um, there is a bit of grinding, which you'll see, but, um, I think some of that is forgivable. Congratulations! You're not dead. That... that was easy. Sure it was. What's this stone it dropped? Oh, come on. It's obsidian. Didn't you study <laughs> geology? This is great. Nope, I'm woefully ignorant. I was just surprised a creepy tentacle monster was carrying around an extrusive igneous volcanic byproduct. Ooh, I'm impressed. Hmm. Well, obsidian is a fairly standard ingredient. You'll need to fight stronger enemies for the rarer components. If things get rough, you can just do that flashy thing again, right? I can't actually see what's going on in your battles. If you're confident enough to fight, I have to trust that you can finish. Besides, I think I only have two more of those saving graces, so I'd rather not use them against the weakest damn things in the tower. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and get you to the safe room. It's right down the hallway. Oh, not that. There we go. It's through that big, cozy-looking doorway over there. See it? The one with the blood stains. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh my See, goodness. Nothing to be afraid of. I guess. What's all this stuff here? In the safe room, you've got access to your items, your equipment, your spells, the whole deal. It's your home base, so to speak. I won't be attacked here? Save for my verbal lashings? Correct. We're gonna run through all the systems at your disposal in here. Here are a few more ingredients. Beep. 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 
and a whole bunch of recipes as well. Okay, so all this is going to be useful later. When you're ready, go ahead and pull up the gear screen. Okay, let's go over to the gear screen. Whoa, this looks complicated. This is the item screen, where you'll manage your items, equipment, and synthesis. On the left, we can see your statistics. You're at level one, but you'll rise quickly. Your other relevant statistics are shown as well. So a lot like other RPGs, those statistics will rise. There are There is no classes. Um, so each of your statistics rises when you go up a level. My offense is five. Why five? This is so arbitrary. <laughs> eh, you look like a five. The middle of the screen shows your inventory. The first pane displays your recipes, which are used for synthesis. Which is... We'll get to synthesis in a bit. Go ahead and use the right trigger to switch to the weapon pane. Here we have your available weapons. Go ahead and equip the butter knife I gave you earlier. How? Just highlight the knife and hit A twice. You'll equip the item and you'll see a corresponding increase in your offensive rating. Great. Go to the armor Yay, pane and equip the six. bronze armor for a defensive bonus. Similarly, you'll eventually obtain accessories to equip as well. Switch over to the other pane. Here you'll find items that you can use to increase your abilities and key items that permanently bestow some sort of bonus. I gave you the key item spell slot three, which allows you to use a third spell during battle. Oh, good. Casting arc light was getting boring. We'll equip a new spell in a bit. Next pane, please. One type of item you can synthesize are scrolls, which appear here. If you have one, you can pay a certain amount of experience points to either practice or learn the spell. Wait, what? How does paying experience points make any sense? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Oh, come on. Does it make any less sense than one single quantitative value accurately representing the whole of your fighting abilities and knowledge? Good point. Anyway, when you learn a spell, you'll need to accomplish some goal, like obtaining a certain efficiency percentage or chaining together a long combo. Each spell will have specific requirements. I guess I'll worry about it when I've got a scroll. All right, last pane. Switch on over. This is the raw materials pane, which will display your materials for synthesis. Pretty simple. Go ahead and switch back to the recipes pane. If you have the necessary ingredients, a recipe will be listed in white. From there, just hit A twice to begin synthesis. Like the black potion. Go ahead and try synthing a black potion whenever you're ready. Here you can control the odds of a successful synthesis. The better the odds, the more XP the synth will run you. I won't always succeed. This isn't a second grade soccer league. You'll fail and it'll suck when you do. You won't lose the items, but you'll lose the experience. Of course, the better the item is, the harder it'll be to synth. Also, you max out at a 95% chance of success. No freebies. Blame. Indeed. Go ahead and synth this one out. I'll make sure it succeeds just this once. Okay, so I'm actually, yeah. Can I do that? <laughs> That's what I should do. So, yeah. Since she's going to make sure it succeeds, I may as well do the minimum. Yay! Congratulations. You've sent the black potion. Okay, the same thing Go happened over to in my the first other game. I don't and know. Swig what... it down. It'll permanently increase your HP by two. Cool. Let's see. There is this one bug. I don't know what happens, but basically you back out and... The discussion continues. All right, now I'm going to show you how to set which spells you can use during battle. It won't take long, and then we'll finally be done with all this tutorial stuff. Thank God. Go ahead and select Spell Set from the menu. <laughs> this is the very last tutorial, Pinky Swear. 
Oh, well, you must be telling the truth, then. Pinky swears are serious. So what is this? There isn't really much to this screen. In the top left, you can see all available spells you've learned so far. Got it. You can test out any spell in this list by casting it with the left or right bumpers. Make sure you've got the rhythm to consistently cast a spell before inserting it into the ring. Yeah, and that is a good idea. Some of these have fairly long um, sequences. And how exactly do. might one do such a thing? Simply select the spell, hit A twice, and then assign it to a position on the ring. Easy. Let me guess. You want me to assign a third spell to that empty slot? Oh, my baby's almost ready to leave the nest. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put Spheric on there. Oops. Okay, so you have to use the D-pad to select Spheric, and then... That's pretty much there we it. Go. By the way, you have access to a healing spell now. It'll help out against more difficult enemies. So I haven't needed that yet. I imagine you might need healing on a harder difficulty. I, I shouldn't say I haven't needed it yet. I didn't... I didn't need it until some of the tougher enemies on the third floor. I'll keep that in mind. Good. And we're done? We're done. So head out onto the floor to collect the necessary ingredients for Key the First. Just tell me which enemies you'd like to battle. Got it. Okay, so to make the key, I need hipster cotton, bottomless pit, and rubber cement. I could go for ironic armor, which requires grape juice, bottomless pit, and rubber cement. Um, I got some better armor later on, so I don't think I'm going to bother with the ironic. So that's pretty, mu pretty much it for this part. Now I know what I need, so I need to go fight some enemies. And what happens here is there's three enemies per floor that you can fight, and this is where you have to... You could choose the same one over and over, um, but that's only going to potentially give you three different ingredients. Um, as you receive a new ingredient, see that there's odds of receiving them. So the most rare ingredient the Goldum will give me has a 55% chance of dropping. Um, so when you receive it, then it'll be revealed there for future reference. Um, so these guys, I have no idea what they give me. I have some idea because I've played it already. Um, but in this playthrough, I don't. So let's do the Goldum again. I'm gonna do the barrier. After I defend myself. Oh. Man, I'm watching the wrong screen. All right, let's do arc light. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get some more mana. Another barrier. Dun, 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 dun. So this one. Oh, Spheric is direct damage. It's just, it's faster to cast, faster to cast, but you have to push two buttons at once. And it gives you, um, it does less damage. So if you're good at hitting multiple things at the same time, then it's a good, because it, it doesn't require this much time to activate it. Um, So it's a trade-off. Um, on the Xbox, it's best to use um, the face buttons for one. If you have to hit two things at once, it, use the face buttons for one and the D-pad for the other. And it works very well. Okay, so that time I got some more obsidian and some rubber cement. So let's go fight the next guy. Actually, I want to do the Derp Fish because Dirty is is that song that I was telling you about that was in the that was used for a podcast intro, and uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Even after hearing it a bunch of times now, I 
to like. <laughs> Get some more mana. Defend myself. Some arc light. Time, time running out here. Ah, now I gotta go defend myself. Do that one. Use the triggers to switch between the, um, the, two, the three panels. Works very well. Let's do another arc light. Okay, so I am getting damaged here. I did put up a barrier. one of the ingredients. Okay, let's go to gear and see what we got now. Key the first, so I need a bottomless pit. I could make the iridescent battle axe right now, which if you hit that, hold down X, it shows you what it improves. It will improve your hit points and your offense. So that would cost me my hipster cotton that I need. Um, I think... I think I'm going to save it. All right, let's go to the Wampa. Definitely have to watch out for the colors, the tougher the enemy. Oh, see, I just messed that one up. The tougher the enemy, the more likely they will be to drop colored arrows. I get to hit the wrong button. Alright, magic staff and a bottomless pit. So that's really all I need to uh, make the key. I think I'm going to try and level up some more. Let's see uh, what's the staff do for me. Plus one offense relative to what I have now. Okay. Or I could get rid of it. If I didn't want it, I could get, get rid of it. And that would level me up to level three. Um, but I definitely want the best stuff. So go ahead and activate that. And then I can desynth my butter knife. 
which will also bring me up to level three, just not quite as high. Okay. Pretty sweet. The other reason to level up is that now that I'm level three, if I were to try and make the key the first, I would have to spend some experience points and that would knock me back to two. So I may as well try and get some more stuff. Let's see if I can get that third item from the Goldum. Okay, ah, I got the grape juice. The all important grape juice. Let's, okay. So I could use my obsidian and my grape juice to make the fallout scroll, which gives me a inflict damage over time spell. And I think, is that what I've been using? I've been using an inflict damage over time spell quite a bit. And I think that's the one. Um, and that will leave me still able to make the key the first. So I think I will do that because then I can show you how you learn a spell. Okay, so I need to synth it. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to lose minimal experience there. That's great. So there's still a 5% chance that I'm going to fail. Thankfully, I did not. Okay, so now I need to go to the scrolls and learn this spell. So I need to achieve 85% on Dirty. And that's the song I know the best, so it's quite likely that I will do that. Especially since I've done it already. So it does cost me more experience, so this is going to knock me down to level 2. So I could practice it for free and get used to it. But I think I'll be okay. So I think after I learn this, I will level up some more to get back to level three. Bring it! That's a tricky one because you have to hit two at once. Missed one there. Ah. to definitely switch my up and down. Uh. So far in my other game, I've only learned two spells, this one and one other. And they were both uh, accuracy rating. I know Naya said that there are other ways to earn... to earn spells. 
to learn a scroll. Um, but I don't know what those are yet. I haven't seen them in action. I imagine it's from doing a song, but it's not just from accuracy. Oh, she said one was a streak. So... Timer lets you know how much time is left in the song. Yay! All right, so now I know that spell. And I'm going to back out of here and switch that out. I'm going to put Fallout. Oops. Fallout. I'm going to put Fallout over here. And I'm going to get rid of Spiric and put Arclight back there. Because that's, <laughs> that's what I'm used to having in my other game. So, All right. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get back to level three here. Let's do let's do the Wampa again. take a while to, uh, to, I guess, charge up is the wrong thing, for the, uh, the timer to resolve, and it has a tougher pattern, but that's damage over time it's going to do. There we go. bottomless pit. I was hoping for something else. But now I'm level 3 again. Woot. Um, I know there's an accessory. One of these two guys has an accessory that I want. Um, let's do dirt. Dirt fish. defend yourself against those green arrows, but it was right at the end of my yeah. casting a spell, so I just let it go. Ah! I'm getting damaged over here. Let's do another barrier. This is why I don't play a lot of rhythm games, because I am just not very good. I have to pretty much play on easy or medium. So I actually have DJ Hero and enjoy it, but uh, 
Can't really go much higher than medium. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, the straw man, that's right. Gives you some extra diff uh, health, I think. Gear. Now check out the humor on this. Straw man. No, you're wrong. Don't tell me to shut up. I'm leaving. <laughs> like a straw man argument. Uh, so funny. All right. I think I should make the key. Eh, no. I want to... I don't want to level down. I want to get it above 90% to make it uh, without... Okay, let's go for the... Wall. Definitely sometimes where I don't let the uh, barrier run out. It seems like, at least with the spells that I have to pick, um, it's, the third spell is not is going to end up being. If I want to activate one, it's going to have to be barrier because the others are still loading. Okay, so the fallout got it before I used my arc light. That's fine. There we go. Okay, so magic staff and uh, experience gem. You'll see how that works. It's just bonus experience, basically. So this weapon is the same as the one that I have, so I'm going to desynth it. That's a significant experience there. And then the experience gem is going to bring me up to four. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to... Now I'm going to go to the recipe, go ahead and do this, and it's going to bring me down to, to three. But that's okay. Wow. It's going to take most of my level three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 92.8 is pretty good. Come on. Give me the key. Yeah. All right. So now we'll see a little bit more of this humor and also see the University of Florida reference. Hey, you did it. Yeah, huh. How are these ingredients mixing like this anyway? There's no catalyst, no casting mold, no... Hey, look, it's the keyhole. Go insert your new key, you handsome young man, you. <laughs> young man? How old are you? 24. You're the same age I am. What are you getting at here? If you say 24 isn't young, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Through the intercom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, Naya? Yeah. There's a guy here. Yeah, I can see him. Why is there a guy here? Because you need to fight him. Were you planning on informing me of this at any point? How would that be any fun? I hate you. Oh, I dare say. I called into question your sexual orientation. <laughs> Good sir. Victorian I do insults. that your mother has maintained intimate relations with men other than her chosen spouse. <laughs> yes. Uh, Naya? This is Percival, the first guardian. 
Each guardian is, shall we say, unique. Speaketh the lady true, Sir Percival at your service. Might I say, your pantaloons and frock are shoddy and poorly made. Oh. <laughs> is, is this a rap battle? Your intelligence is well below the expected average for a white male. Perhaps you are of other ethnic descent? Okay, it's a racist rap battle. Everyone was racist in Victorian times. Come, do your worst. Lay at me with your finest jibes. Naya, I don't actually have to insult him, do I? <laughs> no, but, I mean, look at him. He's asking for it. Literally. Um, his face is stupid. <laughs> you knave! Oh, you buffoonish lummox! Your words are poison barbs! I shall remove the piss from thee! I'd like to see you try, Knickerbocker. Bring it down! Okay, so this one's definitely hard. It's a little faster paced. And I wish I had some more health. <laughs> Saw how he sent some colored stuff at me right away. And I just missed my barrier because of it. Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> so he just did some significant damage to me. I may have to do this one again, because I think... I think the first time I grinded a little more before trying this. Percival. Yeah, so Percival's pantaloons is why I didn't go ahead and make more armor. Because uh, they're pretty good. Oh, the sting of defeat. Your shepherd has trained you well. Yeah, I did. Mayhap, oh brash youth, you yet imagine me but a flight of whimsy? An illusion or dream? Sort of, yeah. I may assure you that it is not. Take heed. Your life is in truest danger. Seek the top, Kai, and trust your shepherd. She is your only ally. Huh. How did he know my name? Because we told him. Anyway, you're one-seventh of the way through. Congratulations. Uh, great. Listen, Naya, I... I need some answers here. Is my family safe? Is this all for a ransom, or...? I'm sorry, Kai. I don't know. Honest. Best to keep moving. I just... All right. Up we go. I thought that was the game reference. Crystals. Each floor of the tower has some unique characteristics. If it makes you feel better, you're quite close to the safe room. You should be able to get there without any encounters. I'll need to fight eventually, won't I? Yeah. Fantastic. So, Here we go. what were you doing before the tower? Why the sudden interest? Just making conversation. I'm a graduate student in electrical and computer engineering. I specialize in robotics and machine intelligence. Like Skynet. Right. Just like Skynet. Where do you go to school? University of Florida. <laughs> yeah. You're a gator. Gators. I need orange and blue. Lucky you. 
And you? Is this a full-time thing, or do you have a nine-to-five? I, um, this is a full-time thing. Really? You people are kind of demanding. You people? Racist? I dislike whatever race fathered you, so yes, I'm a racist. <laughs> Father? Sexist? <laughs> oh, my. All right, I've got some recipes for you. The second key? Among others. From now on, I'll be giving you an extra recipe per floor. It'll be a little harder to complete, but you'll get some extra benefits for your trouble. Like what? Go get him, tiger. Yeah, so now I can do four spells. Okay, so that last one inhibits her the second. Um, each floor, the guardian of the floor can, at a semi-random time, interfere with your battles. And if you make inhibitor the second, then it will prevent him from doing that. And I believe it also lessens his ability to do it in, in your own battle with him. So I could make the dust till dawn scroll. Um, I don't. Let's see. Very slow yet effective HP drain. Well, I'm I'm happy with the one that I have. Percival's pantaloons. See, defense and hit point bonus over the bronze armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. And then yeah, bronze armor increases defense plus one. Owned by an NBA player. <laughs> like what the heck I don't even know what that means so decent that gives me a little experience I don't really have anything else that I can get rid of so that's the beginning of the game and uh, I will go ahead and make this video and then post some more gameplay later thanks for watching